Hey everyone, I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, so what we're going to do here is have, we've got a demonstration set up and we're actually going to drop an item and when it drops it's going to land into a um, watermelon. And so we're going to do two shots with no hard head on the watermelon then we're going to do another shot with a hard head on the melon. And what we're calling this is the PPE challenge. And this stemmed from a couple months ago. We had managers reach out to us and say, hey, we have employees that are just not wearing their PPE. You know, you can go check on them while they're roughing or trimming and they're not wearing the proper PPE. And so they asked, you know, what can we do? And so we thought about it. And what we decided to do was actually met, come up with a challenge, a PPE demonstration, and that we want you guys to shoot a video with PPE, whether it be a hard hat, glasses, gloves, uh, fall protection, whatever it is, and we want you guys to do an active demonstration, video it, and then send it in to us, okay? And this is going to be the month of January, for the month of January. In 2019, what we're going to do is we're, we really want to have a big push for safety. We're going to have a safety, safety campaign in 2019. And starting it off in January is going to be what we're going to call the PPE challenge. And again, the way it's designed is pick a PPE, something that you wear either on a daily basis or you wear it every now and again. We want you guys to do a demonstration on how it's going to protect you and what the purpose of it is. So we've got these watermelons, we've got a pipe set up, and if you see up top, we've got our wonderful mascot wire nut ready to go. And what we're going to do is drop a ground rod in through the pipe and see what impact it has on that melon. So wire nut, if you would, drop this one down. Let's see what we got. Straight through, bust to the other side. And the reason we chose a watermelon because watermelon has just about the same density as your head. So something drops down, and that's just from two stories up. If it drops down from two stories and goes through, it could penetrate all the way through your head. Okay? It's crazy stuff. So what we're going to do now. Through and through. So now we're going to do the same test we just did, but now we're going to put a hard hat on it. Okay? We'll set this out of the way. Liam, can you bring that over to me? Thank you, sir. All right, wire it if you will. Let's drop it down and see what we got. Hard hat comes off. No damage to the hard hat whatsoever. And this melon, nothing. So, Pretty good demonstration of how this one piece of equipment, personal protective equipment, is going to protect you guys. Okay? Uh, many of you may be wondering, well, why do I have to wear my hard hat in a trim? Okay, so let's say you're working in that trim. You take your hard hat off and set it on the counter. You have to run out to your truck real quick and grab, grab a tool you forgot. And they're bricking the outside of this home. So you walk right out of the front door, under the scaffolding, no hard hat on. Brick comes down, hits you on the head, knocks you out. If you're wearing your hard hat at all times, you walk out of that house, you're walking away fine. That's why we tell you guys, wear your PPE, okay? Hard hat, glasses, gloves, boots. Um, if you work on a multifamily project, make sure you're wearing a vest when you're on there or a high-vis shirt. So, again, we challenge you guys each and every shop. This challenge is for you guys. Come up with a challenge, month of January. At the end of January, we want you guys to shoot the video, send it to the safety department, 
at the end of the month, we're going to pick a winner who's got the best one. Get as creative as you want with it. Um, we really want you guys to get involved with it. And again, this whole the whole point of this is to make you guys aware of PPE, what the purpose of it is, and why you guys are required to wear it. So thank you guys so much. Again, we'll be looking for your videos in January. Send them into the safety department. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Uh, my name, uh, again, my name is Tyler Streeter. Phone number 281-245-9021, or you can contact anybody else in the safety department. So thank you guys, and hope you guys have a, a great new year.